back here with uh, well Barry and Johnny yet again and we're heading back here from a uh, property that we just got done listing and filming uh, actually uh, Johnny correct me if I'm wrong but I think didn't we sell the one uh, right next to it about four months ago that's correct yeah yeah well we finally got the okay and the copy of the paperwork from the owner and what have you and I uh, decided to just do a bit of little bit of audio here on the way back. So Johnny, I'm going to turn it over because a couple weeks ago this was really rough, uh, rough road. And well, I, I will before you turn it over. I will say uh, I feel very fortunate. Uh, Johnny's known this guy. Johnny didn't really. No, I was going to say this, but Johnny's known this guy for quite some time, and he gave us six months on it without any price increase, even though the properties are going up anywhere from 10 to 20 percent because of what we're driving on right now. He gave us six months to sell it. So I'm going to flip the old microphone back over to my partner, Johnny, here. And I'm going to let him take over and let uh, fill you in about this beautiful uh, flat finca that's just got an exceptional view at the end of it. Okay, John. Well, thanks, Barry. Hi, you're back with us again in the back seat. We're always out here in the bush. And i got to say, you know, driving along this pavement is just an absolute blessing. It is really going to open up a lot of things for us. We've just finished uh, walking a beautiful, just over a nine-acre property. And uh, what is one of the special things about the property? It's right off the main road. It has water and light. And it is predominantly flat. Very difficult to get terrain like that. It also has phenomenal ocean views I love this this part of uh, the area you know I know that soon I can't say when but I know that they will be eventually paving from the other side from the Cajon through to uh, through to town through to Loma Alta it's just absolutely gorgeous I love walking that property there's so much potential you can do fruit and veg a couple of beautiful rentals yeah it, you know but great. also too that thing's over 90 95 percent flat yeah yeah <laughs> that's pretty pretty rare look when you walk as many of them as we do in a mountainous country and don't forget uh, the mountains come right out to the seaside in Cabrera yeah that is a rarity I'm going to say that uh, quite candidly. That is a rarity. That property is an almost entirely flat except for the ridge where the ocean front is, which would maybe be where I might consider putting a nice hacienda. Mm -hmm. But I mean, that's, you know, subjective to people. But anyway, uh, sorry for the interruption there, John. No, no, I'm, I'm in total agreement with you. It's, uh, it's been a real blessing, you know. I've, I've known the guy for a long time and it's, we've been going back and forth. I'm out here all the time scouting and uh, I've grown to have some really really strong connections out here it's a lot of work but uh, at the end of the day it's rewarding you get to have new friends you get to sit down and have coffee and sit down and have something to eat with them and you you build a strong bond it's a very good community feel around here as it is in Loma Alta as it is in other parts so it's just amazing to have this around and get to know as many people in all these uh, mountainous areas what amazes me brother is you're about 12 minutes from downtown Cabrera and you're in a whole different world and this area is always going to be farm and hacienda it's always going to be very laid back and yet you're 10 12 minutes from downtown Cabrera actually it's going to be trimmed down to about seven minutes when uh, La Calle Hon gets yep, paid, right? Absolutely. And I guess with that in mind, bud, until next time. Yes, absolutely. Come back with us next time and see where we're at. This is Barry and DR. And Johnny. And we're out for now. Bye. Bye. Bye.